the country. No, it is still torture for us here. These refugees are desperate to stay inside a detention centre that they fought to close. Our main concern is uh, our safety. Maybe it's my last uh, picture you, you see here. Maybe not. Who knows? Our life is in deep danger. Refugees were sent to the Manus Island Detention Centre by Australia four years ago, a holding pen until a permanent solution was found and a deterrent for those who might follow. The locals of Papua New Guinea were always hostile. There was an attack in 2014 that left one refugee dead. The concept and conditions of Manus Island were widely condemned. Finally, a court deemed it illegal, and Australia agreed to close the centre and pay refugees compensation. But as the facility was decommissioned and security forces left on Tuesday, refugees reported armed looters. The Australian authorities all pulled out of the centre, uh, abandoning these refugees essentially. Um, and and they have serious concerns for their safety on Manus Island, whether they leave the facility or not. So they've barricaded themselves into the centre. It's now a siege. Water, electricity and food supplies have been cut off. They came in and they cut the pipe, so they drawn the water. Now this tank is empty. People inside are stockpiling as best they can. There will be no food after day, no drinking water after day. But we are looking at, at a siege. The asylum seekers were given alternate accommodation on the island, but they said it isn't equipped to protect them from the locals. They are not going to give us a safety guarantee, that's why I'm staying here. This is a crazy situation. Everybody's been screaming about wanting to get out of the place. Well, we say that we're going to close it and move them into a different facility uh, and require those that, uh, that aren't refugees to go back to their country of origin, uh, and now they won't leave. Australia's government says the prison closure is a matter for Papua New Guinea, and yet Papua New Guinea disputed that in a statement on Sunday, which leaves refugees caught between two governments and a hostile native population. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.